Hello everyone. In this video, I am taking a topic about esterification reaction, and this topic is taken from uh, class 12 chemistry, chapter aldehyde, carboxylic acid, and alcohol. So we already having an idea about esterification reaction. It is all about uh, formation of ester, and uh, we already know that ester is a sweet smelling liquid. so how does the formation take place let us understand uh, with the equation we have carboxylic acid r c double bond o o h and we have alcohol r dash o h so here uh, this reaction is taking place in presence of acid presence of acid is required we can take h2o4 and amount of hcl gas so the oh part from here and the h part from here this two will combine and uh, it is getting out as water and remaining will be getting binded r c w bond o bond with o r dash plus h2 it is getting out so this is what ester let us uh, take the example we have uh, ch3 c double bond o oh this is what your acetic acid then plus ch3 oh methanol it is an alcohol so here from here oh part and from here h part will combine together and in the form of water molecule so it is a reversible reaction in the form of water molecule it will get out and uh, this reaction will take place in presence of acid acid that sulfuric acid and hcl gas we have taken so it is forming ch3 c double bond o single bond o ch3 it is called methyl methyl ethanoate methyl ethanoate and remaining will be the water molecule which gets out and uh, uh, we should note down that we have h2so4 that is your sulfuric acid we can have p2o5 and these are what your dehydrating agent these are what dehydrating agent uh, whenever h2o is to be removed uh, whenever h2o is to be removed during the reaction these reagents can be used these are dehydrating agents now let us uh, try to understand the whole mechanism for esterification reaction so we have your ch3 c double bond o single bond o h so here it will be having a lone pair of electron this oxygen now this reaction will take place in presence of acid so acids are we'll say so here it is electropositive so it will accept the electrons it will accept the electrons so it can be shown in this way and uh, what will happen that CS3 C double bond O oxygen will acquire a positive charge and hydrogen is getting bonded to oxygen and remaining will be OH then further here uh, CS3 C here what will happen a double bond which is there for this oxygen is now little equal to positive so it need a pair of electrons so bond break will take place and this pair of electron will shifted to oxygen so ch3 c uh, the carbon will acquire a positive charge single bond oh and here uh, single bond oh double bond here double bond will be present and positive charge is also there on the oxygen 
now further reaction will take place with CS3 alcohol CS3 OH oxygen is having a lone pair of electrons these electrons are getting shifted to this carbon to satisfy the carbon uh, requirements of electrons and the bond the oxygen requirement is fulfilled by these bond electrons so CS3 C single bond OH then carbon is getting attached with OH and this oxygen which is there it will acquire a positive charge and CS3 molecule is there means this is what this part is getting attached with this carbon this OH is here so this oxygen is acquiring because it is losing electron it is giving its electron so this oxygen is acquiring a positive charge now uh, H positive transfer take place so so this bond will break from here and this electron is shifted to this oxygen because for the requirement of this ox electrons to this oxygen and this hydrogen as H positive will get attached to this oxygen so CH3 C O C S3 here it will be O H2 positive charge will be there in the oxygen and here it will be O H then from here water molecules gets out and a bond this oxygen need of electron is uh, satisfied by this bond electrons so bond break will take place and here uh, these bond electrons will be forming a bond between carbon and oxygen so CH3 C double bond O H and this oxygen acquire a positive charge here it is OCH3 and water molecule is getting out then further uh, a reversible reaction it will rearrange itself and it will form CH3 CH3 C double bond O O CH3 so this is what your final product uh, that is your ester formation will take place now uh, this is the short representation I have shown about the mechanism let us uh, one more time we can understand with better words so what thing is there here we have uh, carboxylic acid CS3 C double bond O O H this oxygen is having a pair of electrons over it now this uh, the oxygen atom which is present here undergo protonation it means the H positive is getting attached to is H positive is getting attached to this oxygen so as this oxygen as the H positive requires electron so what will happen because oxygen is providing the electron to H positive and H positive is getting attached to oxygen so oxygen will acquire some positive charge and form CS3 C double bond oxygen OH positive charge here and single bond OH now you can see oxygen is having some positive charge over it now it needs some electrons to satisfy itself so what will happen a pi bond will break so pi bond will break then the carbon will acquire the positive charge and finally forms the product as CS3 C positive charge OH and OH now uh, we have your 
another reagent that is CH3OH this, this is your alcohol now alcohol will help the carbon that is having a positive charge by providing the electrons satisfying its needs of electron for this carbon so it is forming a product as CH3C OH and here it will be O positive because this oxygen is losing its electron giving its electron to carbon to satisfy the need of electron oxygen acquiring positive then CH3 and uh, this carbon is already having OH attached and this oxygen is also attached with hydrogen now this oxygen need electron requirement so this OH bond will break or the electrons of this OH bond will getting shifted to uh, oxygen and hydrogen get free and as hydrogen gets free it is getting attached with as S positive uh, to this oxygen which is already having some electrons so here what happening hydrogen transfer will take place so it is forming CH3C single bond OH O CH3 and here it is O H2 this oxygen have acquired some positive charge here a pair of electrons are there from now uh, water molecules will get out so this oxygen will require electrons so bond electrons of this getting shifted to here as a water molecule it comes out and it is uh, and here this carbon and oxygen the electron are shifted from here to here so forming a bond so it is CH3 C double bond O and uh, oxygen will occur a positive charge then O CH3 and water molecule comes out now electron shift will take place and finally forming CH3 C double bond O O CH3 this is what your ester so in this way uh, the mechanism for esterification reaction will take place